Let us now look at the second module from this topic of coordinate geometry where we shall learn about the section formula which is basically uh, calculating the coordinates of a point that divides a line segment joining two other points in a given ratio. Let's look at the statement first. It says if any point P of X comma Y divides the line segment joining the points A X1 Y1 and B X2 Y2 in the ratio M is to N. Now there are two cases. It may divide in the ratio M is to N internally or externally. So what happens when a point P divides a line segment joining two other points A and B in the ratio M is to N internally? The point P can be calculated as P of X comma Y equal to mx2 plus nx1 by n plus n and the y coordinate will be equal to m by 2 plus n y1 by n plus n. So basically the point P or the coordinates of the point P will be mx2 plus nx1 by n plus n and m y2 plus n y1 by n plus n. So what do we understand from the statement here? Let's say there are two points A and B, right? These are the two points A and B. So there's a line segment joining these two points. All right, line segment joining these two points. So this is the line segment AB. Now there is a point P. Let's say the point P is here, right? The point P, which divides this uh, line segment in the ratio m is to n internally, right? So this ratio of division here is m is to n. So this is m. This segment is equal to m, and the remaining part is n. So basically, it means the distance PA, the distance between the points PA, divided by the distance between the points PB will be in the ratio m by n. In such a case, we can calculate the coordinates of P using the given formula mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n, m by 2 plus n y1 by m plus n. And in the case, let's say where P divides the two points or the line segment joining the two points in the ratio m is to n externally, then the coordinates of P can be calculated as mx2 minus nx1 by m minus n m y2 minus n y1 by m minus n. So the only difference is plus becomes minus when it divides in the ratio m is to n externally. So these will be the coordinates of the point. Now how do you understand this graphically division of a line segment joining a and b in the ratio m is to n externally? Let's look at it. Let's say the two points are a and b like in the earlier case. These are the two points and the line segment joining these two points. All right. Now P is a point which lies elsewhere, right? This is not on the line segment A and B. It divides A and B in the ratio M is to N externally. In that case, what do we do? Let's say the point P is here. Now, if you understand the point P to the point A, this distance and point P to the point B, this distance will be in the ratio M is to N. This is M and this is N. Are able to follow? So the distance from P to A is M and the distance from P to B is M. So again we say P A by P B equals to M by N, right? P to A, this distance is M units and P to B, the distance is N units. So P A by P B equals to M is right. So similar to the earlier case, P A by P B equals to M is N, but the difference is here P was on the line segment uh, between the points A and B. And in this case, P is outside the line segment uh, joined by the two points A and B. So simply understand that the coordinates of such a point will be mx2 plus or minus nx1 by m plus or minus n, my2 plus or minus ny1 by m plus or minus n. Plus if it divides in the ratio m is to n internally and minus if it divides externally. Now the other point which we can understand from this statement here is Let's say in this case, when P divides in the ratio M is to N internally, P is the midpoint, right? The statement says or the given question says that P is the midpoint of the line segment uh, which is joined by the two points A and B, right? So there is a line segment formed by the two points A and B and P is the midpoint of it. If P is the midpoint, what does it mean? It falls exactly between A and B. It lies exactly between the two points A and B. In that case, M and N or m is to n will be equal to 1 is to 1. Yes or no? If it is a midpoint, p a by p b will be equal to 1 by 1. Right? p a by p b will be equal to 1 by 1. The ratio will be 1 is to 1. Right? It is a midpoint. In that case, what happens? How can you calculate the coordinates of p? Just substitute n equals to 1 and n equal to 1. So, 1 x 2 plus 1 x 1, which is basically x 2 plus x 1, divided by 1 plus 1, 2. And likewise, 1 into y2 plus 1 into y1. So y2 plus y1 divided by 1 plus 1, 2. 
So in that case, we see that P is the midpoint, right? P is the midpoint where the coordinates, if P is the midpoint, the coordinates P of X comma Y will be equal to X1 plus X2 by 2 and Y1 plus Y2 by 2. So this is one simple point which can be understood from uh, the section formula, right? If it is a midpoint, the ratio is 1 is to 1 and the ratio is 1 is to 1, the coordinates will be X1 plus X2 by 2 and Y1 plus Y2 by 2. Let us now take an example based on the section formula. The question says, find the point that divides the line segment joining the points 4 comma 5 and minus 4 comma 1 in the ratio 1 is to 3 internally and externally. So we have to find out uh, two different points here. One where it divides the line segment joining these two points in the ratio 1 is 3 internally and two where it divides in the ratio 1 is 3 externally. Now we have the section formula for finding out such points. So let's look at the first one, right? Let's say the point here is P, P of X comma Y, right? And the formula is MX2 plus NX1 divided by M plus N comma MY2 plus NY1 divided by M plus N, right? This is the formula for uh, the point dividing the line segment in the given ratio internally, right? So let's substitute the values now. MX2, this ratio here is M1 is 3, which is nothing but M is to N. So MX2, right? This is X1 comma Y1 and here is X2 comma Y2. So we have all the values, just need to substitute and do the calculation there. So MX2, 1 into minus 4 is minus 4 plus NX1, 3 into X1, 4, 3 into 4, 12 divided by M plus N, 1 plus 3 is 4 and MY2, so 1 into 1 is 1 plus NY1. 3 into 5 is 15 divided by n plus n which is 1 plus 3. Now what do we get on simplification? Minus 4 plus 12 is 8. 8 by 4 is 2 and 1 plus 15 is 16. 16 by 4 is 4. So the point that divides this line segment in the ratio 1 is 3 internally is 2 comma 4. And let's now look at the point which divides it externally, right? What is the formula? The point can be taken as mx2 minus nx1 divided by m minus n and my2 minus ny1 divided by m minus n. So I think, uh, let me just put it here. This can be taken as 2 comma 4. Let's look at the second calculation. So mx2 1 into minus 4 is minus 4 ny2 3 into sorry uh, nx1 right 3 into 4 is 12 right so minus 12 minus 12 divided by m minus n 1 minus 3 comma the next one and, and if you actually look at it my2 my2 ny1 ny1 the magnitudes are anyway going to be the same right like in this case if you see mx2 mx2 so minus 4 and minus 4 nx1 nx1 12 and 12 plus and minus depending on internal or external division right however if it is a direct question we have to do the calculation as follows so m y2 what is m y2 1 into 1 which is 1 n y1 3 into 5 50 minus 50 upon 1 minus 3 now simplify this what do we get minus 16 by minus 2 right 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus 16 upon minus 2 minus and minus gets cancelled 16 by 2 is 8 and 1 minus 15 is minus 14 minus 14 upon minus 2 is 14 by 2 which is 7 so that point here would be 8 comma 7 so simply substitute the values in the given formula and arrive at the required answer likewise let's say if the question says find the point uh, that is the midpoint of the line segment joining these two points or what will be the midpoint of the line segment that join these two points? What do we do? You should take x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. So that midpoint in case if required can be calculated as x1 plus x2 by 2. So 4 minus 4, 4 minus 4 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2, 5 plus 1 by 2, 5 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to this is 0 and 5 plus 1 by 2 is 3. So 0 comma 3 will be the midpoint of the line segment joining the points 4 comma 5 and minus 4 comma 1. So this is how we can easily answer the questions based on the section formula.